Okay, since the last video, I put about 400 miles on the engine. Um, since then, I also I fixed um, the loud exhaust um, sound that was coming from my dump off. The reason I was doing it, I forgot the little uh, round ring that seals it up. So now it's running pretty nice. It's boosting really easy, and it's running good. Um, I have it all. I have the FIC installed, and I data logged it a few times. Okay, I'm trying to tune out the FIC a little bit. Um, right now it's running pretty good. It's run, still running rich. Um, I don't have much to work with. I just have the narrow band oxygen sensor that I'm using to read and I got my fuel gauge and the boost gauge. Um, here's the map. I don't know if you can see that clearly, but I'm running the load that's running off the PSI A, that's actual uh, atmospheric pressure and then um, here's the map for retarding it. I'm, right now I got it about one one degree at 22 load based on the map atmospheric pressure which is about eight pounds of boost I'm retarding about one degree. Um, I probably could go higher than that I'm just doing some test runs with it right now but just messing around with it trying to figure it out. It runs pretty good the check engine light stays on though. Um, it says something like interferes on the injectors because because I'm intercepting the the map and, and adjusting it. I think I'm gonna have to get used to that. I'm probably gonna put it on a switch. There's the, the um, software for the FIC. Um, I'm running at 10 pounds of boost right now. And I set my fuel trims to zero. I have a scan gauge over here, uh, close enough to zero as, as I can. Um, right now it's in open loop mode. It'll be in open loop mode until it closes, which will take a few, uh, few seconds, maybe like 30 seconds or so. Um, this is my, my long-term fuel trim, my short-term right here. Um, I set them both a little bit in the negative, so if one's going to be in the negative, the other one will be in the positive, or they'll, they'll both be in the negative, like negative eight, negative four, or something like that. Um, the reason you want them both close to zero or at zero is when you start it up, it'll run really rough, and also when you punch it, I think at, uh, when your throttle is open like 80 percent or more, or something like that, it'll go into closed loop, uh, it'll go into open loop mode, and then it's using your fuel maps to uh, to run the engine, and that's that's where you want it to have fuel so you want to set them both close to zero or as about as stock as possible. See right now my long term is at zero, my short term is at negative nine or see it just jumps around you just got to keep them close. I'd rather have it in the negative so I know I'm running richer so when it does go into uh, open loop mode I know that it's gonna have enough fuel to the system. Um, this is this map right here you can't really see it clear but this right here is um, my load map and it, it runs with the to retard the, the engine right now I have it set at 22.5 that's absolute pressure based on my map sensor so that's about 10 pounds of boost it'll, it'll start retarding it about two point something degrees so it's not much um, I have it fairly safe right now I really don't know if I need to do it that that low but if you see from my next last video it's running a lot quieter, a lot nicer. I have my static fuel pressure set to about 49, and it goes up when I... So that's how it's supposed to sound. Um, like I was saying, I have my static fuel pressure right now set to about 49. And when I punch it, it go up to about 60, 60 plus. Um, let me take it for a ride. Let me close up. See, I'm running about... See how loud it gets with that dump off once it hits 10 PSI? It really gets loud. See that green dot right there? That's uh, my manifold pressure right there. That shows where I'm at and 
once I punch and the manifest pressure increase, it'll jump to where I need to be, depending on my RPM and my uh, my PSI. kick for only 10 pounds. I'm still hesitant about getting on it too hard because I only have 428 miles on it so but that's where I'm at right now. Now this thing right here is pretty cool. Uh, the scan gauge 2. You got a lot of features with this. You got your fuel trim, closed loop, open loop. You can monitor that. You got your map sensor, miles per gallon, miles per hour, RPM throttle position sensor, water temperature, that's pretty cool um, O2 fuel trim, horsepower, that's pretty cool, it's, it tells you the horsepower that you're drawing while you're punching it uh, and uh, your voltage, your battery voltage I like this one, that's your uh, air temperature right there, that, that's entering into your intake that's pretty uh, useful usually it should be, while you're driving, it should be just a little bit higher than the outside air temperature but I know my intercooler pipe runs kind of kind of close to the exhaust so it's probably a little bit a little hotter for me but I did wrap it up so I wrapped the exhaust and the bottom intercooler piping with some heat tape so I think it helped out a little bit I need to extend my air breather out a little bit, maybe pull some fresher air from down there. This is kind of pulling stuff that's getting blown from the fan. But other than that, it seems like it's running pretty good. Got my bumper on, I don't know if I had that on in the last video. So this is this is the product of the project. There it is my friends.